Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. It is the 5th of March. It's Sunday. Um, I have literally just finished um, a page that I started at the end of February um, that I wanted to get done before I filmed this video because I'll be completely honest, in February, I did not get much done whatsoever. So, um, it's not going to be a long one. Um, I'm going to leave the one I've just finished because when I say it's hot off the press, it is literally hot off the press. It's still wet. Um, and we've just got a few little things here. Um, so, let's just move these. And we'll start off with this. Now, I have to admit, this was done in January. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen it. I completely forgot about it when I did my completed pages in January and was like, oh, damn, I really enjoyed that one. I forgot to do it. I'll save it till February. And it's probably a good job that I did because we would literally have nothing to share. Um, I don't know where the mum's gone. Um, I've had a week off and I've just had one of them mums where I just sat on the couch in a blanket and absolutely binged some TV, but we'll catch up in that in the colouring chat. So I did a page, my first page, I think, in Rooms of Wonder, apart from, I did do the key at the back. Can't remember if I ever shown you this, um, but I did do this key in the back. It was Black Widows, possibly. Or maybe Chroma Floors. I think it's Chroma Floors, because that looks like, um, brown sugar but yeah i think it's chrome floors actually so i probably have shown you this but i've done that and i did this gutted about this i smudged this and made a horrendous mess but it, it's all good um i don't think i've shared this if i have i do apologize but i did this with um the lyra polycolor all of them all of it it's all lyra polycolor i absolutely fell in love with these pencils they are beautiful um blend absolutely gorgeously i went from getting a 36 set at christmas to then rapidly buying the full 72 um i love them <clears throat> love 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 they work beautifully on this page i am not a mandala person but i don't know what i just thought january healthy eating everyone's feeling like motivated and new year's resolutions so let's just do it um there's a little bit of black pencil jewel there that i smudged everywhere which probably i'll be able to rub off um not that bothered left the background white because i just thought it was quite nice it was a nice fun page i basically just started in the middle and worked out and then in and then out and then in but i worked on one sort of fruit at a time so i didn't get sort of overwhelmed enjoyed it will definitely not be doing that page uh, but i will definitely be doing some other pages in there so i'd I do be oh, excuse me. I do be like I like these. Um, but yeah, I had fun. I really enjoyed it. That's really cute as well, and I absolutely love that. Like I'm not a mandala person, but anything witchy, spell crafty, this I absolutely love it. So this will be getting definitely coloured. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it yet and this page as well this is cute probably will do this too um but yeah i love this book it's really really nice but again i've just not sat down and done it and that's all i've done but i i enjoyed it it was fun simple little page so joanna bassford rooms of wonder beautiful book next i have a buddy color with um allison also messaged me and asked me if I fancied doing a buddy colour in Fairy Topia. We've done one before. I feel like this was possibly the last one we did together. I might be wrong. Um, but we did this, number 23. I'm going to zoom you out ever so slightly because this book is quite big. Um, I kept it quite simple. I just went for a marker skin marker wings with a little bit of white gel pen the background is distress ink 
uh, notice distress oxide in salt water taffy with this is supposed to be a metallic um ink around the outside and it has got a, it's got a form um, it's not i would say it's more of a pearlescent than a metallic it wasn't great but it just darkened the edges so i went with it um in her hair she's got some strands of pentel jewel i think that is just throughout just to give it like that little bit of sort of shine um chroma floors for the hair and the lips and the eyes pentel jewel again on her beads i kept her naked we're all born naked and the rest is drag as they say so yep kept her super naked added in um some bling on her wings and that was it really spent a lot of time on the hair but i love it i wanted an orb in her and i think of i think it looks really nice really really nice i did base it i based it in quite an orangey color um and then use some dark browns over the top just to darken it up and i kind of like how it worked i'm getting quite a few pages done in here now i have started another one but then i absolutely hate it so i did start her avatar inspired and i just don't like the blue i might just do it just to say that it's done but i don't I don't like it. I probably would have liked it if I didn't then try and give her like some kind of blush on her cheeks, which just looks ridiculous. And then I've gone over it in some white pencil, so it looks even worse. That might just be a, a fail. And we'll just leave it. But yeah, so I've got her done. This was like a random marker challenge. I loved that challenge. Might do that again. I feel like this was a, mar a random marker challenge as well. I loved that one. Loved that one and that one. That is my absolute fave. That was what me and Alison did. I remember now. Because I absolutely adored doing that hair. And again, that's marker based. And then penciled over the top. Beautiful. So yeah, that's a good little issue that I sort of come back to time and time again. I really enjoy working it. It's Fairytopia Colour in Heaven, issue number 84. Next was this. This was a forgotten whip. I actually forgot I started it um, and then discovered it and got it finished. And it is from Mystic Art Mirrors Witchcraft book. Um, obviously, I'm interpreting this as Hecate. Um, I have done her as sort of three different people and changed the hair up like quite autumn-y sort of wintry colours. Um, the, it is marker based, got a lot of it, in fact all of it, all of it is marker based. Um, there's some gold detailing on a lot. The background is Distress Ink, it is a um, villainous portion. Purple is the colour of like wisdom and psychic powers. Um, it's just quite a witchy colour, so I just went with it. I've left like the berries and things like that, just just marker. I kind of wanted the heads to really stand out. Makeup, I've just gone really light pinks. Um, really do like the hair. It is markered and then I've used black on a lot of it I've used so I use purple brown um and then this like teal I feel these are like dual colors spent spectrum noir jewels um and then I've used black whereas I'd always use like a dark purple or a dark green and a dark brown I just went black I think it's really worked out quite well and then I've used a white um it's an aqua fabian I think white I found it in my desk just to give some highlights to the hair, like give it a shine and a gloss. Lips, polychrome, uh, no, are uh, chroma flaws, chroma flaws on the leaves. And then just heavily, heavily splattered it. 
because who doesn't love a splatter so yeah i completely forgot about this and it was lit it was so done everything was colored i just needed to add a little bit of pencil shading so i was like let's just do that um and i really really like how it went i wanted the background to just kind of be misty and smoky like so that's why it's quite messy and uneven in areas um didn't want to give her a neck I was, I was only when I was looking at it before, I thought, oh, she should probably have a neck. And I thought, actually, no, I'm not going to give her one a driver. It just looked like that. I like it. Um, so another for my Mr. Cart Mirrors collection done. Really going to have to get some kind of folder or something to keep these in because they're just getting ruined on my desk. But yeah, I really enjoyed that one. That was a good one. Quite a quick one. Um, Just a really nice sort of powerful striking image loved it and the lips are quite like the lips as well but yeah nice one and then this one um took me quite a while i think can't remember when i actually did it uh, but i was inspired by um the last of us and like the cordyceps and the color palette in the game and on the tv show so i wanted to really color some mushrooms and kind of stick to a really muted palette um and this is what i came up with so I, i've used all joe went pencils on this apart from the background the background is a lyra uh, aqua color past like like a neo color but like a a lyra one just just gray just one one gray uh, I think I used a darker one just in some areas to darken it up. Loads of white gel pen to kind of give it like a almost a spores effect around them. Um, very, very limited colour palette. I have used I went drawing, colour softs and chroma floors and found the chroma floors to just be a dream. So the chroma floors are this, this, these greens here, these greens here, these mushrooms the greys um the flowers i do went drawing these mushrooms are color soft the crystals are chroma floor and everything else is chroma floor I, they just worked beautifully on this paper and i really really loved using them i've used them on quite a lot of things to be honest i just i'm really feeling them um as a pencil to go to at the minute i just i love love working with them but I love this page. I've not done one in here for absolutely ages. I think this was my first Hannah Carlson book. And I've done this. It's I've put that on because there's some dreadful pastel background, which just looks a horrific mess. Their colouring is awful. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. It's where we start. So I've done that. I've done obviously the mushrooms. I don't know where they've just gone now. And the first time I got my first ink tents that I got, I did this. And that is all I think I've done in here. So I, I really wanted to get back into it. So I'm glad that I got, oh, I did this little bee. I forgot about him, cute. I feel like that was Polly's maybe. But yes, I've really not done a lot in there. So I just thought that'd be quite nice to get back in. I've seen that mushroom page and thought, yeah, I want to do that. And again, not kind of a floral, mushroomy, not drawn to them pages. So I just, I really, really enjoyed it. We've got some gold um, on there too just to add a bit of sparkle because you just need it it's really but again absolutely loved loved working on this page um it's just really fun I'm, I've, I've just been in a slump for so long and now i feel like i've found like the fun and love of coloring again so i'm, I'm feeling good feeling good i'm gonna get some pages done this month for you And finally is this. Um, she's a bit curly. She's possibly still a bit wet. The background is really not that neat. Um, 
I always start off with an acrylic background and then I absolutely curse myself for doing it because I think I should have just done ink. Um, or maybe even just like, framed her off, maybe. I am going to colour continue this colour palette over onto here but she's going to be more oranges and yellows with a little bit of blue that background is going to be the same Ugh. i did paint over the stars on this page because i just thought nope absolutely not i'm not coloring around them and i knew i wanted it to have a um a gold acrylic splatter because again they're at a party it's meant to be a celebration so i've absolutely gone to town with some um gold ink i've used gold gel pen all over these details it is a secure metallic jelly roll um i actually used the lyra aqua color to base everything apart from her hair and her skin um and then worked over the top in chroma floors i do want to do these I am going to do these blue. I'm going to do the mini minute gel pens. I hear on the desk in a blue glittery um, gel pen. The background is Deco Art Americana Poetic Plum, which is a beautiful, beautiful colour. And it does kind of make a stand out from the page. And actually now looking at it, I don't hate it as much as I did. It could definitely do with some more layers in another area, but I'm not doing it. It's, it's done. I will paint this side. <laughs> not yet. When, when the fancy takes me um, and we shall see but yeah I absolutely love it skin is is a different skin tone for me I've never done skin in chroma floors and I did um, and I quite like it it's peach sand um, brown sugar and a little bit of burnt sienna a bit of blush on her face and I just think she's she's really cute I like it she almost looks like she's wearing like a really sort of structured denim dress um, she's very avant-garde um, making a way to the Midnight Masquerade. And I'm going to say actually that that is probably my favourite page of the month, even though I've technically only just finished it. But I'm going to pack it in January and I'm going to crack on this month and get some, some colouring done. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go for that. Let me know what's your favourite. We've got our witches. We've got our mushrooms, we've got our furry, and we've got our fruit mandala. Let me know in the comments which you prefer, um, or which is your favourite. And I will see you all very, very shortly for another video. See you later, guys. Adios.